Oh, hi. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my IKEA Alex drawers using foam board. And this is super easy. I'm just going to do it like the simplest way that I can. Um, you guys can use measurements, but I'm actually not going to use measurements and I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. Okay guys, so these are gonna be the supplies that you need. I got most of mine from Walmart. You're gonna need a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks. You're gonna need a blade or a cutting item. You're also gonna need a ruler. This is actually optional. And you're gonna need foam board, which I got from a 99 cent store. So the first thing you wanna do is empty out the section that you're going to be organizing. You're gonna empty it out because you're gonna need it empty to start the project. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to wipe out this one because I'm going to be starting with this one drawer, but we want it to be like super clean before we start. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that foam board and I'm gonna kinda size it up because I'm not using the ruler because I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. This is super easy. It's better to watch it than for me to try to explain it, but I'm just basically sizing it up. Then I'm gonna go ahead over to my floor and I'm going to cut exactly where I sized it at, if that makes sense to you guys. Again, you can use a ruler, but I chose not to use a ruler. So then I'm gonna go ahead and use this mirror, but you can use anything flat to basically get your foam cut to the perfect size like the perfect straight edge so yeah and when you're doing this please make sure that you put something hard on the bottom so you're not scratching your floor I did not do that but I also didn't scratch my floor but I had to do two steps when I'm cutting the board which is what you see me doing here when I was cutting it first I only went through halfway so I have to kind of fold it and bend it and then cut through all the way because I don't want to cut my floor again again so use something hard down under the foam board so I'm just gonna put that other extra piece to the side I'm gonna use it later so now you guys see I have my foam piece cut to the perfect size it fits right in it's not too tight you gotta make sure it's not too tight so it doesn't like fold over on you so it has to be basically the perfect size so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the height that I need again you can use a ruler for this if you're gonna use a ruler this is how you would have to do it I did not use a ruler because again I don't know I don't really like using rulers I feel like it takes up so much more time so yeah I'm just going to now pre-cut all of the pieces this makes it super duper easier for me I didn't have a pen on hand so I'm using an eyeliner <laughs> I'm organizing makeup so there's lots of eyeliners around so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to mark that board the same height over and over and then I'm going to go ahead and pre-cut those out this saves me so much time from like going from one drawer to another I'm just cutting everything right now so I will have it ready and done so I'm just going to fast forward through this part because you guys do not need to see me cutting back and forth over and over again so I'm just gonna fast forward through that So as you guys can see here, I'm cutting out all of the pieces in advance so we're not moving up and down from the floor because it can be very time consuming. So yeah, these are going to be all of the pieces that I need. So I would really suggest that you pre-cut your pieces like I did. And these are all the pieces that I came up with. I swear it saves you so much time. And so I'm going to call these pieces the sectional pieces. So I'm going to, first, before I glue it, I have to size out the lipsticks or the lip glosses that I'm going to be putting there because I want it to be specifically fit for that lipstick or lip gloss. 
so I'm making sure that that size is perfect and then what you're gonna go ahead and do is put glue only on the sides and that's how we're gonna keep the foam board basically secured and when you're doing this you're just gonna press down and then make sure you wipe off any like hot glue gun that gets stuck on the sides and then you're just gonna hold it there for a few seconds while that dries it does not take long at all then I'm gonna go in with this long piece here this was a piece that I had on the side and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to size it out so that I can cut out a little divider and the pieces that I put in the middle, I'm going to be referring to them as the divider. So yeah, let's cut the divider and then we're going to make sure that it fits before we put glue on it. Then once we see that it fits, we're going to make sure that it's perfectly positioned and then I'm going to take it out and then we're just going to put glue on the edges again, just like I did with that first piece, only on the outer edges. Then I'm going to put that in there, wipe away the extra glue, make sure that it dries and it's nice and perfectly positioned. And then I'm going to go and grab the other, like the whole bundle of these Urban Decay lip glosses that I'm going to be putting in the first section. So I'm just going to pal those in. Uh, one thing I have to say, like when you're doing this, it's actually easy to put it together. The hardest part is to find lip glosses that will fit in that section. So you do want to kind of sort them out in advance. And I had a lot of these, so it looks so much better when you have like a bunch of a certain brand and you put them together. It looks way more organized than if you just put like a whole different kind of brands together. It looks really weird like that so just try to put them with the same brand so then I'm gonna take another sectional and I'm gonna do the same thing and for this sectional it fits like um Jeffree Star lipsticks dose of color wet and wild basically like the short and chunky liquid lipsticks so then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to divide that off again as you guys can see I did not pre-cut the pieces that I'm going to be using as dividers because every section is different some are shorter some are longer so we can't really pre-cut those so then I'm just gonna go in and put that in there and then after I put in that divider and it dries up I'm gonna go ahead and full up the rest of them as you guys can see it came out so pretty I love the way it looks and I did do three rows so I was able to get most of the storage I mean there's a little piece left in the back you can like throw away like stash away ones that you don't want there and also I did this divider for my Alex drawer dresser desk thingy this is actually my vanity but this one is way more complicated so I didn't do a video but let me know in the comments if you guys do want a video on that one so this is another drawer that I did and these are the foundations so that's how my foundation drawer came out as you can see in the front I tried to keep my like circled foundations there and I like I really love the way it came out and I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys found it very helpful please let me know in the comments if you do want the more advanced tear drawer tutorial and I'll be happy to do it for you guys but until next time guys have a blessed day peace and much love bye guys